back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing the much promised spotted dick. Now this is an old British dessert which goes back to the 17th century, believe it or not. My mother used to make this when we were kids all the time. I'd like to ask her what recipe she used, so this is what she used to use. So here we've got 250 grams of self-raising flour with a pinch of salt. I've got 125 grams of suet there. Now I've got 160 grams of currants. 8 ounces of granulated sugar, you can use cast sugar, 150 ml of milk, I've got a teaspoon here of lemon juice, and I've got one egg there, and that's it. So basically, as I say, now I've put you want to mix up, you just need to put all the ingredients into the bowl, put this bowl there. It's pretty simple, pretty quick to do. Egg, better sugar, lemon juice. Let's all mix all that around. And then we gradually mix in the milk. We need to get all this mixed in together. And of course, those of you who've watched my channel before know what I'm going to be doing next and saying next. Yep, it's time to get those hands dirty. So this is the best way I like of doing it. To get in there. Best way of mixing it is to get your hands in and give it a good blending. So hand in, give it a good mix up. Hey, those of you seen my other cooking runs. Now this is my preferred method of mixing by hand. So that way you can get everything mixed, squidge it all between your fingers. And make sure it's all in there. Get that all nicely mixed in together. Now I've got a prepared basin here. I've lined that with butter. So basically, once that's all mixed in like that, get it off your fingers, don't want to waste any. So what we then do, once that's thoroughly mixed, that then goes into uh, well, um, oven proof, heat proof dish. So, goes into there like so. That little push down. Now you can either put this on top of the oven in a steamer, or if you haven't got the steamer, get a large saucepan, half fill it with water and get that on the boil, and then preferably use an up, upside down saucer or dish in the bottom of the pan. You don't want this touching the bottom of the pan of boiling water, just likely to scorch the bottom of it. So, simple as that. Next bit, what we need to do is just put the top on. Now, this is the bit that can be a bit fiddly, so you need a bit of greaseproof paper with a pleat in the top. Just put that over the bowl, and you might need two hands to do this. Then, just tie the top with string. This is where it gets a bit awkward if you're doing it yourself. Nine times out of ten, the string comes above the rim. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. So give that a tie. Make sure that's nice and tight, that knot. And then you've got the pleat in the top, which can help with the putting right. Then what I tend to do is then just put a bit of foil over the top of that. Now that will now go in the pan the boiling water. Make sure your water comes to about halfway up the side of the bowl, of the bowl here in the water. You don't want it too high. And just once it's come to the boil, turn it down to simmer and simmer it for about one and a half to two hours and then your pudding will be ready for you. It goes that's in the pan now, boiling water. So I think when that come up to the simmer, you can see the water only just comes about halfway up. What we then do now is once that's in there, just put a lid on that 
turn it down when it starts simmering and leave that for about an hour and a half, two hours. So I'll come back when that's all ready to come out for you. I've just got that out of the saucepan. So I've done the old uh, skewer test after an hour and 45 minutes. I left it in for number 15. Now let me just take the top of this off. You can see it's still steaming away. Whoop. Yeah, that looks nicely cooked. Just see if we can get that to come out nice without burning ourselves. Right there, make sure when you tip this over you don't end up burning yourself. That should hopefully come out nicely. Ooh, ow, there we go. So that's come out looking nice. Just, I'll just slice it in half so we can see the inside. Oh, oh, still very, very hot. Let me put that side over. Ouch. There we go. So that's all done now. That's looking nice. Turn that around and get a better look at it. Now, that is looking very nice indeed. I've got a bit of that tonight for my tea with custard. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I'll be back with a new recipe soon. There we go, that's the old fashioned spotted dick ready done. Some people call it a suet fruit pudding or a, a steamed sponge pudding, but there we go. I hope you like that one. Now, if there's any left over, what we used to do as kids with any coal, we actually used to cut it into thin slices. And put butter on it and i'll tell you what with butter on cold that is very nice actually it makes a nice little an evening snack nice bit of slice of that of cold plenty of butter on it a bit of jam if you want it anyway i hope you enjoyed that one so look after yourselves be kind to one another i'll see you in the next one